Right, we're on the right route. We just bumped into a gentleman who lives in one of the uh, cottages here. More like a house, but it's a lovely detached place with two lovely Spaniels who greeted me. It's just, it was handy really, because I, I would have found it anyway if it was well signposted back there, but it's always nice to be friendly when you're out. I've already had one tick jump on me. Um, it is a risk, everyone. It is a risk. Some areas are more ticky fight than others. This is probably a very dear area. Oh, I've just seen a lovely raven then doing his echo call. National Trust. Footpath and style. Right, what I'm going to do here is stop and have a drink of water, then carry on following this little path. Over and out. Folks, this could be the third or fourth video already. If I go up there, that's long coom. But that's a shortcut, if you know what I mean. I'm not doing that. I want to go up Paradise Coom. This is still Bicknoller Hill all over this bit. Ah. <sighs> Here's a well, nice signpost, all in a nice yellow colour, goldy yellow, pointing me to Paradise Coombe, folks, and through this gate. That's it. Through this gate. Let me just put that on there a minute, it'll be easier. There we go. So it looks carpeted, doesn't it? So we're still following the contours of the hill, really. Um, oh, there's a sheep. Some sheep are coming to join me. There he goes. Some sheep up there. Yes, yeah, it's turning out to be a lovely day. I can't think of a better day for doing this. It's not going to be baking hot. It could get hot if I've got jumpers and coats on, but this is autumn. It's either the 9th or the 10th of. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's the ninth today. And, um, I think it's the ninth. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it's seven, it's seven, eight. Yeah, it's the ninth. Ninth of October 2021, and she is exploring. Just a reminder, I've never walked this before, this particular route ever. Since retirement, I've walked more of these hills than ever in my life, exploring and enjoying them. And I'm getting higher and higher. Some beautiful scenes back there. Look, look at that. I've come down that before. See that hill over there? I've come down from the top of that. And the coom, but not a coom, I've been up and down it. Yeah. Now I'm over the other side, which I've never done before this bit. Heading for Paradise Coombe. And this looks quite a peaceful track. More ticky fight. Um, it is, is a risk. The Quantocks are known to have limes. Well, something's going to kill you. If it ain't Covid, it'd be bloody... Um, Lyme disease or something else, isn't it? I know I've been affected by that Lyme, so I, I got bitten years ago. I always said it was tick that was making me tired. They didn't seem to take it on board in those days. They do now. I was lucky I got the full test done 
and they weren't always giving it to people. But then the outbreaks were getting worse and people were dying, were suffering terribly. Oh, look at that, the sun's just going to be over there. Look at that very proud sheep that's watching me. See through there, he's up on his back legs. He's looking down, he's saying, oh look, we've heard about Sheila. We've heard about you, Sheila. Hello. Are you beautiful? I'm going to stop and take a picture. You're so beautiful. That sheep knows someone else is coming. They're so beautiful. Look at those two tucked in there, look. They're lovely. Look at them. Beautiful. Looks very messy there behind these, these trees here. Right over the first stile of the day. And the sign says forward. So let's put this, that there. I've got my got loads of stuff in my pocket as well. I minute. Mean, I can't get me lift my leg up with all these objects. <coughs> Quite some beautiful scenes here. Oh, there's not enough for me. I can't get my leg up. <laughs> oh, that's it. Bye-bye then, sheepies. Nice to meet you. We'll probably meet again one day. Look at that lovely scene over there, love. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That, actually, that big hill in the background, I've got a feeling it's either Weakham Hill and Bicknoll is this side. You can't see down there at the moment. Anyway, let's trundle forward, everyone. What's that I can see up there? It gives me a bit more height when I want to style. Looks to be some sort of shed thing up there with a large bird on it. I'll just zoom in a minute. Now that could be a peregrine falcon, couldn't it? That could be his home. That looks a big bird. Yeah, that's a big bird. I don't reckon that's a sparrow, hawk, I reckon that's a, that could be a peregrine falcon. It's massive. Or a kestrel maybe. I might get him to see him fly in a minute. Right, gotta walk. I gotta take pictures at the same time. It is awkward. I need to get a new camera, then this one can be used for photos. But it won't be now till next year, I'm afraid. Christmas is coming. Oh, isn't this lovely though? God, I do you know what? I feel so blessed. I feel so privileged to be able to come out here. We're not privileged, that's the wrong word. Um, enabled to come out here. But look at that thick mist that suddenly crept up again. I'm going to move on a little bit and I'm going to have to take some photos again. Yeah, that big, that huge bird has now moved actually. He's not on the roof anymore. So I must have missed him. Look at that mist. That's thick mist. That's not nothing to do with the camera. That's thick mist. And there's some mist rising from a coom there as well. <sighs> like I said, I don't there's sheep in there. I mean, I could find it out in a minute. There's cows. Then what are we going to do then, Sheila? We could have ended up in a cow field yet. Oh, that's lovely. Right, I've got to turn off, folks. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous, though. Look at that. That lovely scene. Oh, 
Like I said, this is arable land, this bit. I remember this bit. I mean, another time I come over, I'm just going to, another time, I come over and just explore this bit to see the different features. But today I'm on a bigger hike. But it'd be worth just coming over just to explore all this, you see. Over and out, I've got to take right, photos. On again. I'm just enjoying this, this walk so much. It's so peaceful. Oh, these beautiful trees, look. This beautiful avenue of trees. I'm keeping on this little track here rather than wandering off, just to keep my feet... By the time I get to that tree, I'll have to take some photos so I can see some lovely beams of light surrounding that tree there, which would be worth taking a photo of. I apologise for keep stopping and starting, folks, but this is... When I get my new camera, this camera will be used to photos only, and I can do both. I can video and use the other camera, which is what I used to do. But all my cameras are slowly fading, and I do need a new one. But I don't really want to get one yet. Not till next year. Right, this is this is the picture I want to take now of this tree, because if I zoom in, you can see the rays. See the rays there? And it's a beautiful tree. I've got to turn off to take a picture, I'm afraid. Over and out a minute. Ah, look at these beautiful, look at all these lovely trees, look. Absolutely majestic, aren't they? Look at them, how gorgeous. Like I said, come over another time, I want to climb up. But we're following the route. We're following the route. Mind you, signs do disappear. But we're following it, we just have to assume. I didn't see any other. I didn't see any other, did you? Looks like we've got to do a lot of... Um... I didn't see another path. Straight across its head. Sorry about that everyone, if it scared you. I didn't know it was going to do that. No wonder they've got all this, they've got to have all this rope on here, haven't they? I wonder how often that happens, wakes everybody up. There we go, all tightened up again. That was a hell of a bang, wasn't it? Like I said, I'm videoing probably more because this is new. I've got so much video. I've done all the walk I did the other day. That's all been done WMV'd now. Just waiting to go on YouTube, Blogger and Facebook. That's all been done. And then I've got, um, I've still got West Barbara, the second visit to do where I followed the Greenway. I don't think I've done, done I don't think I've even done WMV with that one yet. All right, just got to stop again, take a picture of that lovely beam of light there. Over and out a minute. All right, beautiful, beautiful rays. I think the banging of the gate frightened a few sheep. Sorry about that. I didn't know it was going to swing quite so. But I realise now with all the rope tied to it. We're going down. If we go down, we know we've got to go up. <laughs> Never mind. That's just what it's all about today, exploring. The bloke did look a bit surprised when I told him we were at my route. He did seem to think, oh, that's a long way. <laughs> Might be. I don't know. God, we are going down a long way, though. But until we see a sign for Paradise Goom, we just keep going. Some lovely light. 
lovely light. I mean, the idea of this walk today is to explore anyway. That's a public footpath. I wonder if I've got to go that way. you think it would say Paradise Coombe though, wouldn't you? Hold on everyone, I've got, what I've got to do, this is what happens when they're, they, they have some lovely signs and then they put something like that in. Now does it mean, I mean that's a long way to go all the way down there isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Is this the quick way through? I'm just going to turn off and look at the map again.